Hello class, welcome to the Minute Math YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button below and share our videos. You can also find great math content and links to all of our videos at www.minutemathtutor.com. All right now, enjoy the lesson. Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about simplifying variable expressions. We're going to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression, 3 minus 8 times 7 minus 5n, okay? Well, I have a little, a little off there, but it's okay. My first step here, I look in the parentheses, nothing can be combined. Okay, so now we have this minus 8. I find it's easier, and you don't make as many mistakes, if we take the subtraction and make it to a plus and negative. So, minus 8 is plus a negative 8. 7 minus 5n. Okay. Now, we have to multiply this negative 8 into the parentheses to both parts. Don't forget, it goes to both. So, we have 3 plus negative 8 times 7 is a negative 56. Okay? Then, this minus 5 is right there, so it's like plus a negative, right? Negative 8 times negative 5 essentially is a, a positive, right? Negative, I think it was a positive, positive 40. And then we have n. So we have positive 40n. Now we just have to combine our like terms. Well, 3 plus a negative 56 is a negative 53. Bring down the 40n. And so my final answer here is just negative 53 plus 40n. Quick recap, we're given 3 minus 8 times 7 minus 5n, and we have to simplify this expression. Well, I made the subtracting an 8 plus a negative. Then I distributed the negative 8 across into my parentheses, okay? Then I combined my like terms and got my final answer, negative 53 plus 40n. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.